Hey guys, it's Marl and welcome to Let's Talk Baby. So this is a story about a 14 year old boy named Ahmed. Ahmed has a dream to be an engineer one day. He invented a clock this weekend and brought it into school on Monday, anticipating to impress his teachers and show him that he created this amazing tool and he's only 14 years old. And of course, this poor child was profiled and his teachers accused him of creating a bomb. Um, now this to me is so sad because this boy had a dream and what better way to scar him and crush it than to accuse him of something as severe as this um, before even investigating it. Now I know there are parents who are looking on the other side of it going, Ahmed could have made anything. He, he could have been a bum. Um, look at all these kids when they're shootings and all these stuff going on in high school. And I think that we have to be subjective as parents um, and as teachers and as educators, uh, you know, to see what this boy was trying to accomplish in the first place, discuss and investigate what he's doing first, because this boy just had a dream and you just crushed it. You ruined it for him forever. And if anybody were to do this to my child, I would be absolutely devastated as I'm sure Ahmed's family is right now. So I would just like to say on behalf of a parent and so many parents around the world right now and as a parent who hopes my son can have the ambition that Ahmed has to be an engineer one day or to be someone important in this world um, and to be a creator and inventor, I say to you Ahmed, I stand with Ahmed. So guys, comment down below, let me know what you think. I believe that every child should have creative freedom um, to do these kinds of things especially in school when they're being taught to go above and beyond their creative abilities um, and, and share and learn and grow and invent and discuss. Um, and I feel like this is one tough blow for educators. I mean, there are so many powerful educators out there. I know so many amazing teachers, amazing educators, um, and who would never do something like this and profile a child. So to you, Ahmed, go to the White House, Go meet the president, go meet Miss Clinton, learn from these people who have so much more experience and who want to pave the way for you and take advantage of these moments. And I know that this is a rough situation, but you're gonna find something great out of this because you are smart, you are talented, you are impressive, young man. If you guys stand with Ahmed, let me know down below. Share the hashtag, I stand with Ahmed, and let people know that it's time to end this profiling. Let's embrace these children for how intelligent and smart they are. This is our future. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's talk baby.